These are my pickups for the last couple months. I'm going to start with the most retro of them all. The only retro game that I picked up. Picked this up at a uh, flea market in Canada for the Intellivision. It was in really good shape. And it was only like $10. 10 or was it 15 I don't remember. It was either 10 or 15 uh, Pitfall was a fun game. Never played it on Intellivision, I don't think. Anyway, so let's pick up there. And then the rest of them are all Switch games, because, you know, that's what I collect and that's what I find. So, Team Sonic Racing. I picked this up brand new from that same flea market. A guy had a bunch of games. This was one of them. 15 bucks, so... Eh, should be good. Man Eater, I already played and beat this on the Xbox One. I just wanted it because I, I love my sharks. So uh, yeah, I like to have it on the Switch. I heard it uh, the chugs along doesn't run very well, but it's still cool to have. And it was only 15 bucks, so I'm glad to have it physically. It's a fun game. It's repetitive, but it's a fun game. Especially if you like eating people as a shark. Falconeer is at that same flea market. This one I saw, I think limited run distributed, and it was in a blind, uh, I don't know what those things are called, blind boxes. Anyway, this guy at that thing was selling it. I think I paid $40 for it. It looked good from what I saw. I just didn't pick it up when I had the chance, and I was like, meh, for using company money to pay for this. It's always good, so I picked that up. Picked up Pokemon Legends Arceus, or Arceus, whatever you want to call it. I've been wanting to play this for a while, but I didn't want to pay full retail, which is 80 Canadian. So when I was at Costco, while I was out of town, they had it for $50, so $49.99. So I'd rather pay that than $79, so... And from what I saw, it looked pretty good. So, yeah, I'll be happy to play this. Capcom Fighting Collection. Got this at GameStop, or EB Games, I call it, but it's called GameStop. I mainly wanted it because it had Darkstalkers and Night Warriors, and yeah, just to have them physically. I'm not really a big uh, fighting fighting game fan, because I suck at fighting games. But yeah, I was happy to pick this up. It's by Capcom, of course. A lot of good beat em ups on here. This was like a blind buy. I was at a GameStop, that's the price I paid, and it's called Dodgeball Acad Academia. I just looked at it, I'm not a big RPG guy, but it's about dodgeball, it's a way of life! And uh, yeah, so I was like, yeah, it looked pretty cool. I only found out later that it was RPG, but uh, yeah, because I like Super Dodgeball on the NES, so... I was like, eh, hey, maybe it's going to be fun. So, yeah, I'm happy I picked this up. I'm going to try it out, and it should be fun from what I saw. Trigger Witch is basically linked to the past, but you're a witch, and you have a gun. That's why it's called Trigger Witch. And it's a twin-stick shooter, maybe? I don't know if it's twin-stick, but it's a shooter. So instead of using a sword, you just shoot the hell out of people. So, yeah, you could play multiplayer. Ooh, nice. Very nice. But, yeah, it looked interesting. So, I had to pick this up online. I also had to pick up Pocky and Rocky Reshrined. I tried to get this at my local store, but I was stupid. I should have just bought it online and then picked it up in store, but I didn't. And so, when I went to go pick it up, they were already sold out. So, yeah. Uh, I never played these on the Super Nintendo, but uh, they always interest me, so I was happy to pick this up. Obviously, you gotta get the Turtles Calbunga collection, because I'm a turtle turtle fan. So, yeah, this has, uh, I think they have Rewind and all that. Yeah, okay. Save any time, Rewind. So if you want to beat some of these games that you never beat before, you can do that. But you gotta try, gotta try to get good, to get good. I beat the first Turtles game. But anyway, yeah, so I was happy to pick this up. Obviously, it's not open yet, but I will open it eventually. And the last game, I just picked, got this in the mail from Limited Run. It's a beat-em-up. It's called Final Vendetta, as you can see. 
you can play co-op I don't think it has online co-op but uh, yeah it looked like a pretty fun beat-em-up and when I saw the gameplay footage I was like it kind of reminds me of Final Flight the way it looks I don't know who made the game maybe it's people that were big fans of that that game series so but anyway so that is all for my pickups. I also picked up a retro TV, but it's too big to put it put it on the screen. But it's like a nine inch black and white old school TV. Because I collect other stuff besides games. Others being games, movies, CDs, old electronics. But yeah, so till next time. If anybody wants me to upload videos of these gameplays, let me know in the comment section which nobody uses but whatever whatever till next time that'll do pig that'll do